Hi guys, Tungsten here. So today we are going to look at this nightingale, but it's not a normal nightingale. It is actually a nightingale with a uh, kit as in store. In fact, it make out two kits. It's the front uh, battery expansion kit as well as a uh, select fire ammo counter kit over here. Right, so basically I will go through the function first and uh, we'll do some FPS tests as well as, I, as, well as uh, I'll tell you where uh, you can obtain this kit itself. Right, so let's just take a look. This kit itself actually make out two separate kits. The in front, this rail over here as, and as well as this battery expansion is considered one. And then the rest is basically this part over here with a ammo counter and a select fire installation that you know bring all the way up here for the selection uh, it is another separate kit right all right so let's just go through the functionality right so i'll open up the blaster so again uh, it takes a 3s blaster over here oops okay so uh basically i'm just going to connect the uh, battery first okay okay over here Okay, so you can see that the uh, battery expansion kit is uh, pretty useful in terms of you know, it's much easier to fit in the battery itself. Right, so now you have the battery installed. To switch on the, the so-called ammo counter and select fire, over here at the back, there is a kind of a se selection. There's like a three setting, one, two, and then the last one, three. The last one is actually the lock position. So put it at the lock position, trigger pull all the way back and hold it okay and you release once you see the the uh, logo for black black reason then you will get the uh, so-called the uh, the system being set up is now at lock so now you know that it's actually from black black reason right over here zero zero lock because there's no uh, magazine uh, it's kind of a uh, put in place and if you were to of course uh, put in a magazine so it's by default configured to kind of have the ammo counter to be set at 15 because it is a 15 magazine round and then there you go you have 15 selected over here and then if you move okay over here now you can see that there are three dots that means this is on a three round burst right so for the basically for the ammo counter 15 i i remember the guys told me that you can actually program it to to be of any mag magazine capacity but for the instruction that you can ask from them and of course as well as the installation guy right so now i want to switch it back to a single fire mode first for uh, so-called a single shot so what i do is i put it to lock again for the trigger you have to lightly pull three times right one two three if you hear a beep and that one beep means it's going to be single shot over here as you can see now it's just one dot this being displayed so in this case this is a single shot so from the lock position if you move to the next position it will be either single shot or uh, burst fire right depending on how you configure it now if you move one more all the way to the other side it becomes full auto right so let's just again set it to single shot over here first and see how it fires off right so i'm just going to point at this side okay pull <laughs> you can see that it's actually quite 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 intense <laughs> right so that's single shot right so again now if i want to switch it to burst fire again of course the ammo counter does go to 14 Go back to the lock position. Now, lightly pull. You don't pull all the way. You have to really be lightly. One, two, three. Then you hear the three beeps, and then that will tell you that if you switch now, then it becomes burst fire, which is a three round burst. Let's give it a try. Yeah, that is fast and intense. So the ammo counter now sits at 11. Right, of course, if you switch all the way, to the side you become a full auto all right let's find fire, fire a photo well that is basically a mode whereby you want to empty your mag i think now i left with six let's move all the way back to lock lightly pull three times let me just one two three okay you hear the beep okay now if you don't hear the beep that means it's not 
uh, correct. Okay, the common mistake is to pull all the way three times. That will not do. Alright, I think I maybe I can demonstrate. Let's, let's see whether I can do a user error now a single shot. So if I were to like one, two, three, nothing happens. Alright, it actually doesn't work. You have to lightly, lightly pull. Oh, okay, now oh, okay, again my error. You must lock position. One, two, three. Ah, now you hear the beep. So it's actually three, three round burst. Alright. Okay, I want a single shot. Okay, single shot. So it's really lightly pull. Alright, so fire off. Five. Left two. Okay. Empty magazine. Alright, so and you release it, reload it, and then if of course uh, it will be 15, right? So now, even if I don't have a dart inside, it's not going to tell you it's 15. You do have to have to reload and it detects a dart, then it will say uh, 15 rounds. So yeah, this is pretty, pretty good. Now, last but not least, how do you shut off the system? Okay, again, push all the way to the lock mode. And now you pull the trigger all the way and hold it. off then you release and there you go this is the demonstration of the uh, select fire uh, nightingale so again so now you know that this is actually provided by black resin all right so uh what it comes with again you can purchase the kit only i will show on screen what is uh in the kit itself i believe it is uh $80 SGD and they do ship internationally so you can uh, ask them about that and of course if the price uh, is uh, kind of there might be changes I don't know so uh, what I know is as of now is I think it's one uh, sorry $80 right so next is the expansion kit itself is actually a separate kit now uh, I'm not too sure whether they sell this expansion kit itself uh, so you have to check it out now, what I do know is they also sell a uh, fully built uh, select fire nightingale like this, right? Okay, everything is being installed for you, though, so you do not need to do the installation. Okay, so that is a, of course of a different price. Um, I cannot really remember what's the price. Maybe you can check, uh, drop the guys there an email, and you can get a fully uh, kind of kind of a build up uh, nightingale. Now, one thing to note: if you were to buy the kit itself. Uh, the nightingale actually have two different shell type. If you if if you do not know, actually worker also do have their own auto fire nightingale. That means a full auto kind of a nightingale. So the shell itself is actually have a different internal. Okay, so I believe the kit is for the old shell that is uh, pretty. You know, the inside is pretty clean. Um, is this uh, the shell that is uh, before February 2023 I believe the production all right but in doubt if you in doubt uh, you should ask the uh, guy at black resin which uh, kind of uh, uh, shell that is required for the kit itself but from my understanding it should be the one that you know the first release uh, that we should, without the full auto capability of the nightingale Okay, so I'm not too sure uh, you're aware that there is actually a full auto nightingale from worker itself. But anyway, so uh, let's go for the FPS.
Alright, so you have seen the FPS, alright, so what do I think about this kit? I feel that now if you have the old Nightingale around and you're kind of bored with it, uh, kind of you want to do some modding you know, or improve the Nightingale, kind of uh, to have a select fire. Select fire is something that I, I've tried to do myself previously like in the Strife era. Yeah, I have fun doing it and I know it's not easy to get a good select fire going so this is a kit and it's very convenient i think this is great and this nightingale is of course a very uh no good size and yeah with all the things inside uh as you can see the performance is pretty slick no fire off single shot and then it's easy to have the motor braking and whatnot so i do like this kit a lot okay by the way these parts are not 3d printed these parts are actually nylon yeah just to uh no point that out and uh yeah this is something that i definitely would consider if you like the platform of the nightingale and to you know take it further one more step so i'm i'm tungsten if you have not subscribed do subscribe support the channel and i thank you for your support see you next time bye